All right, everyone, we're back. Uh, we finally have a full load of silage ready to go. We've done a handful of things. This is one of the first things we've um, gone to accomplishment accomplish uh, today. We are at a stage where we definitely need some money, so let us get this done. We This is that silage that came off the field um, last uh, couple months ago, and we should be at that stage where it'll be mostly, let's just see how it's here easy to release here make sure our buttons are activate auto loading unfasten our tension belts there we go 27,000 28,420 there we are okay cool so we got a good chunk of money there uh, you might guys be wondering where I got all this equipment from too I went and bought this piece with some uh, money that I made by selling um, some other equipment. I also took out a quick loan and I just paid that off um, prior to. So we, we are golden for finishing this off here. Let's get this back to the farm. See how well that does on its own. Such a long trailer. We harvested this field, as you guys know. We sold off everything. That's where we got some of our money from um, so that we could pay for that trailer as well as get some other equipment that I will show you. But here we are, we have wheat now planted here. We are gonna harvest more wheat off this field. We wanna to get to $90,000 very soon um, because we do want um, to be able to start making flour and then hopefully bread, but flour would increase our profits significantly if we could do that. But yeah, we've gone and seeded this, rolled this and fertilized it as well as also um, sprayed it with a new sprayer that we bought that was relatively cheap. So this has now got all the states done. It's been fertilized 50%. Um, let's take a look at the, let's take a look here. Take a look at the field, make sure it's been fully fertilized. I think it actually might need an extra fertilizer stain actually. So it's got, there we go, yeah. It doesn't need rolling, but it does need another fertilizer state, which I don't think is ready for yet because we just finished doing that. So. We'll have to wait till the next season, uh, next month all around so that we can do a fertilization over top with our other tractor, which is right here. So we might as well get that one ready because this tractor can't really do much else other than um, pull a, it can, the only thing that this tra tractor can really do is move things around very slowly around the farm. <laughs> It can tow my trailer back and forth, but very, very slowly. I would not put a lot of weight in it. Um, so it's a transport tractor more than anything, as well as also a fertilizer spreader and lime spreader, which again, that's another thing we sold was our lime spreader because we don't do lime all that often. Plus, if we do need to do lime, we will just go ahead and do it when it's time. Um, so yeah, we'll just drop that off here. Um, so yeah, we got $34,000 um, that we don't really need to spend on anything, but we will just check to see what's for sale. Mm, oh, a nice wind rower. That would be nice. A new tractor we can't get. Can't afford that. We don't need this for diesel. This tractor would be nice, but we cannot afford it at the moment. But this wind rower is significantly better than the wind rower that we have, and I actually can't stand it. 9.7 working with yeah we might just buy that we might just get this because it's a decent wind rower right it is a wind rower a wind rower yep it's not a tether so we may just get this make our life significantly easier and we are going to sell the other one it's not going to sell for very much whether or not we do anything with it so let's go sell it right now and we collect that money all right so we have fifteen thousand bucks um this tractor may be able to pull that thing so let us let us go see if it can do it because if it can we'll have this tractor go get it while the other one brings back that trailer of yeah let's just go see we're gonna go to the shop Another reason why we need money is because I'm too lazy to drive my tractors everywhere, so I'll hire everyone to drive my tractors. That turn there usually gets the tractor. Yeah, get out of the way. Alright, we made it. Alright, so this nice long trailer is going to go right over here. Not a lot of braking there. There we go. Okay, and drop that right 
there. Okay. Our um, silage baler is great and all, but we really do need a better tractor. We really just can't afford anything good enough. Even with the $30,000 that we had, the, the small, largest tractor we have right now is this guy at 105 horsepower. And we bought the 150 horsepower version of one of these here. Where is it? It's going to cost us 58000 So, we really, we could just rather lease a tractor just to do that if we really had to. But we're going to get you set up for mowing because that's what's going to be next for you on your agenda. Because it isn't happening yet, but it will be happening soon. It is in the forage stage at the moment. <clears throat> I think I can harvest this and I'm foraging to make sure that I can. Let's just make sure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Make sure that we can harvest. Yes, we can. We can harvest in October and in November. Um, so we will have enough time to harvest the grass. So we get two cutting seasons out, which is nice. We get two cuts in the season. We could be growing canola right now. Okay, we chose to do wheat. Gotcha. We chose to do wheat because we have the ability to make straw from that too with our um, mini baler, which I don't think you guys saw that, but I think we did show it. We do have a mini baler. Right? We bought a mini baler. We also got rid of our old cedar. We bought this cedar, a beautiful cedar. Does everything we need to do, and then we have our bale trailer for uh, for hay bales, and this baler for bales. Obviously, this is a short-term, uh, cheap solution at the moment. If anything, we might get a new baler in the future if one goes on sale. Because we, I don't really want to use the baler that we've been using for very long, and I'd rather make bigger bales. Um, and so this baler, yeah, this is 180 to 240 centimeter bales. Um, so that is an option. Otherwise, we'll just go ahead and get one of these round balers here that's worth 30000 which we probably could have just bought, but we're, we're not in a rush for that. Um, these make really tiny bales, but that thing is an auto baler. This makes 180 to 240 centimeter bales. That's a possibility. And then the question is, is do we have a bale loader that can fit that kind? Um, this one does round. This one does square 180 to 240, yeah, so then I guess, I guess we could use 180, yeah, then we could use this one, so that's not a bad idea too if we want to do that. Um, we actually could probably afford that already, actually, now that I think about it. Not that we want to do this right now, but, oh uh, yeah, we can't afford it, it's 90,000 bucks. Yeah, no, no, we're not, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing our straw bales with this for a little while longer. All right, so we have made it to here. Cool. Let's go grab this windrower for the next season. We don't need it right this minute, but we might as well grab it and hope that our tractor can pull it because it is on wheels and technically it's trailed. I think we won't have a problem pulling it. Yeah, we'll be fine. But this will make our windrows a lot tighter and make us make bales um, a little bit more uh, efficiently. Oh gosh. Well, well, we have created a problem. This tractor works. If we hit the wrong bumps, man, we are, we are screwed. All right, we are going to have to fix this. Extra careful driving this thing back. This tractor 
doesn't have any front weight on it so we get a bump and this thing goes nose up it is barely on the ground probably up front so we uh, this is what we've been doing with this we're just grinding and plugging along maybe because of the way that this is going um, we'll check in with you guys when we've made enough money to start turning into flour. You know, that's kind of like how I want to do this, is I want to get to making flowers, which means I need to get to $90,000 to buy the flour mill. Or at least place a flour mill. I might buy one versus going and unlocking one and placing one on my farm. We'll see. This series may come to a close very soon just because of how long this grind is. This might just be my fun series to play with limited resources. Um, it may be the end of this one. We'll see. I might just record and go live with these in the future. Whoa, doing a wheelie. All right, guys. We'll, uh, we'll check in with you guys when we've made enough money, um, whether it's on live stream or in the next episode. Take care, guys. Take it easy.